How many of you do read newspapers every day? Can you raise your hands? It's okay, it's okay. Okay. So, um, have you gone through the news of seizing, seizing drugs or drug smuggling? Okay, if you make a graph, make a graph on the recent five years of these issues, it's been increasing at an alarming rate and the people involved in these issues are mainly adolescents. Now, who are adolescents? These are children between the ages of 13 to 19, the teenage, which is our ages. So it is a period where we have behavioral, physical, mental changes. So during this time, we'll be full of curiosity, need for adventure, excitement, and full of experiments. True? Right or not? Yes. Okay. So, due to these reasons, we get influenced in drugs and alcohol abuses. Now, basically when we say alcohol or drugs, suddenly our face goes, oh, drugs, oh, alcohol, right? Okay, see, it's not actually a bad thing. See, alcohol, when, we, when I ask you, what is alcohol? You give me a list of all these alcohols. See, wine, you make it during Christmas, right? Yes, you may, we make it at home. It's actually good for your health. Doctors even recommend adults to drink Okay, at most 30 ml of wine because it's good for your heart. But the other kinds of alcohols, due to its different chemical methods of making, it's not good for your health. Now coming to drugs. See, drugs actually needs medicines. The paracetamol, all the kind of all medicines that you have when you're not feeling well, those are drugs. If you say someone is under drugs, it doesn't mean he is addicted. It doesn't have that, all, that meaning always. But it even means that he's under medication. Now it becomes a negative meaning when you become addicted to it. And now what is addiction? Addiction means that you're totally depending on it, using it in ways that you are not supposed to use it, or using it when it's unnecessary for you. See, in this world there are no addicts who go use and use drugs saying that I'll be using it every day. Okay, when in the first time they won't be going there and would be saying to people that I'm, I'll be using it for every day. Because their first use gives them, gives them the most, what do you say, beautiful effects, they use it again and again. Now, which type of people are, what do you say, influenced, mostly influencing these drugs? First, people with curiosity. See, you see something vibrant with different colors, you see something simply standing there also. You get the tendency to go touch it or use it. Even if our parents say to you, Moni, Moni, don't use it, don't touch it. It will be coming to our ears as what? Moni, Moni, use it, touch it. Right? You get the tendency to use it or touch it. Curiosity. Because of curiosity, you become an addict to drugs. Now the second people. Now there are, don't think that studious people are the always good ones. You know these people who study very well or always want to get good marks, they even use different type of drugs to not sleep, to be awake the whole night so, so that they could just excel the examination. Even they are under the influence of drugs or like afterwards they become addicted to drugs. Now the third category people are Mr. and Miss Cool people. I mean cool is that so in this age we totally feel like um, we need to be cool in front of our friends. So for that you become daring and do stuff which you are not supposed to do. So again you become an addict to it. In after your first use and I'll be telling that to you later. Now the fourth category of people are people who think they are under depression or stress. So they come with a word called I had no other choice and go for drugs. Now, do you know what effect that drugs give you? Like the first time use, you just, would just be saying that I'm just using it for once to know its effect. But it has very adverse and horrible effects. Is there anyone who's seen the movie Varna Maida? Anyone? Mention the name of the song. Okay. So in that, there's a song where it shows the male character fully in the drugs. So that is the effect of drugs. You use it once, it gives you beautiful effects. What? Hallucination. It makes you feel as if you are, what do you say, on top of the world or you are the best and you do different types of arts. All the, what do you say, the 
talent inside you come out and all that. Then after its effect goes. You know the drugs are like viruses. It takes control of your brain after the first use. Then it gives you the tendency to use it again and again. It controls your brain and makes, you know, makes the brain say to you, use it once more, use it once more. And you just, you know, in this age, we are not in an age of making decisions. So suddenly what comes in our mind first, we do it. So finally, we increase the dose of the drugs that we've taken. And each day that it goes up and up and finally you become a total addict to drugs. That is the addiction part of drugs. Now it's effect. See, you can identify a drug addict mostly through they become unhygienic, unhygienic in these times and their academic level goes down their family or friend relationships go down and they become in a situation and finally they act mental towards people. That's how you identify, what do you say, a drug addict. So according to me, I don't think that no one in this world are supposed to be drug addicts. See, if someone says no to you, learn to make your mind or make yourself say no to it. See, okay, we are children, we, we get the tendency to do things. But in the drug facts and all, guys, drugs are horrible. See, heroin, morphine, ganja, all these things were used in the medical field. All these things were used as medicines once. But because of the misuse of all these things, it is banned from, what do you say, the use. But still, due to, people couldn't understand why it was it? They couldn't, what do you say, um, accept the, uh, what do you say, uh, um, saying the, no the use of the drugs. So they started using it again and again. And this, this day is actually done to make you aware of what is the effects of drugs within you guys. Because we are the children or we are the age where we get influenced. And see guys, there is no one in this world who is the happiest person. Every people go under depression, you go under different sad situations. But every situation you need to understand that it is for the good of you itself. Never think the life is gone or your life is gone or it's a horror or something. See, every single people go through depression. Every You get all these sad effects but take it optimistically. Say that it's good for me itself. Now for the eradication. Why it is practically impossible to prevent anyone and everyone from using drugs. There are things which we all can do to avoid drugs and alcohol abuse. Here are certain ways which helps to prevent drug abuse. First, effectively deal with peer pressure. The biggest reason that teens start using drugs is because their friends utilize peer pressure. No one likes to be left out and teens and yes, some others too find themselves doing things which they normally do, do, do not do. It just fits in. In these cases, we should find a better group of people who are just like our friends and also you need to find a good reasons to say no to them. Teams usually need to find a proper excuse and plan ahead for time to say no to those people who makes them bad, who makes them bad. And second, examine the factors. Certainly, biologically, physically, and environmentally, there are many risk factors that you should know. If you know these things, you you will be able to fight against those things. For example. The history of uh, substance abuse in your family and and a drug addict in your family will make will make a bad impression on your mind which helps to overcome these habits. And third, keep a well balanced, happiest life that makes nothing thinking about the wrong things that happens in your life. By sharing this knowledge with your friends, you could make people not depressed and make them happy. Thank you. Have a nice day.